We're almost done and dusted with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix coming up this weekend. And we, of course, will be giving you plenty of build-up and coverage of that race here at GP Fan. So you can just hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything that we do covering that. And, of course, get on to at GP Fans Global on Twitter and Instagram as well for all of your live updates throughout the weekend. But we're still, this Wednesday, talking about the fallout from the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and everything that went down at Jeddah. Now the former drivers are lining up on either Team Lewis or Team Max and having their say with what went on with that infamous collision on lap 38. So let's dive into the all-important news headlines this Wednesday. David Coulthard has hinted that perhaps Lewis Hamilton was to blame for the coming together of the British driver and Max Verstappen at Jeddah last Sunday as the Dutch driver tried to strategically hand back the lead of the race to his title rival. Verstappen was told to hand the lead of the race back to Hamilton after getting his elbows out and then some in his attempt to defend the position on lap 37 of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. But in the confusion and perhaps tactical hijinks that followed, with neither driver wanting to hold the lead just before the all-important DRS line, Hamilton ran into the rear of the Red Bull driver, incredibly only doing minor damage to the front wing of his Mercedes. While Verstappen was eventually handed a time penalty for what the FIA perceived as brake testing his opponent, the former McLaren driver Coulthard saw the incident a little differently, perhaps due to the similarities between that and an incident back in 1998 at a very wet Belgium Grand Prix when the Scottish driver was asked to allow Michael Schumacher through, only to slow in difficult conditions and have the German driver plough into the back of his rear end and eventually retire from the race. Given my experience in 98 when Michael ran into the back of me in Spa, where I was told I had to let Michael past, I slowed down to allow Michael past and then he ran into the back of me, explained Coulthard speaking to F1 Nation. There was a lot of criticism of me at the time of, did I brake test him? Did I do something to try and help Mika Hakkinen in the championship? No, I just followed the instructions of the team and tried to let him past. Max has been told to let Lewis past. He has slowed down strategically, and if you look, Lewis is slowing down and there is no contact initially. Then, when he is a little bit uncertain, I think he was probably a little bit confused as to whether there was a virtual safety car. You can't look at your cockpit and dash to get that information and look out the cockpit. All of those things came together where he has then hit the back of Max. When Max did eventually let Lewis through a few laps later, he was quick to retake the lead of the race again, letting the British driver pass just before the DRS activation line before quickly using DRS to his advantage to fly almost straight back past Lewis Hamilton, although he was ordered once again to give the position back. His use, Max, of allowing Lewis to overtake just before the DRS activation point and then re-overtaking him again and then getting DRS was a brilliant piece of lateral thinking. I think there are a lot of things that would, for me, say that Max deserved to win this Grand Prix. Of course, you can start analysing Lewis's race, and he is still remarkable when it comes to wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. He gets away with, he had contact with Ocon, yet not really that damaged, and he managed to run into the back of Max, and although he damaged his front wing, anyone else would have knocked their entire front wing off. He is incredible at close quarter racing, and ultimately has come through and won this race. It's interesting that Coulthard says that perhaps Max deserved to win this race when you look at certain moments. Nobody seems to be actually discussing the tyre situation. Max's mediums fell off a cliff. Lewis would have probably had him in those last few laps of the race anyway. But we're all not focusing on that and let's just focus on the coming together between these two. Martin Brundle was less than complimentary of the young Dutch driver Verstappen saying that he is saddened by Max's recent conduct on track that continues to see him shrouded in controversy. His aggressive attack and defence in Saudi Arabia was reminiscent of a number of incidents we've seen all season that have landed the 24-year-old in hot water with the stewards and, of course, frustrated rivals Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton. In his column for Sky Sports F1, Brundle said, F1 has a problem in that the design of the racetracks, particularly with regard to the safety runoff areas, and the sporting regulations simply can't contain the way that Verstappen is choosing and needing to go racing at the moment. The FIA's only way to control him is with endless reviews and occasional penalties. He's been playing the game given that, with his points advantage, 
Hamilton simply can't afford to have an accident with him and lose an opportunity to reduce the points deficit. Even now, despite being absolutely level on points going into the final round, for the first time in F1 since 1974, that remains the case, given that he has a 9-8 to eight race victory tally, should there be a countback. Such is Max's car control and cunning, he's sometimes able to pull off the audacious moves and leave a margin of doubt as to whether it's hard racing or simply a professional foul outside of the regulations. And it's those moments, such as the infamous Turn 4 in Brazil, which are generating confusion, controversies and inconsistencies. So who is Team Max and who is Team Lewis? Or perhaps everybody just wants to see some hard racing going into this final race of the 2021 season without, as Martin Brundle would put it, any confusion, controversies or inconsistencies. Something that is consistent is McLaren dropping incredible car designs and once more the British constructor is running a unique livery for the final race of this season. It's the first time a livery has been designed by a woman from the Middle East and it's part of the Driven by Change campaign that allows creative talent a platform to showcase their work through motorsport. It's another exceptional looking design for the papaya clad cars and you should get onto gpfans.com to check it out. We'll of course be looking at that and everything else to do with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix coming up in the next few days. So hit the subscribe button down below to stay with us for it. And of course, get on to at GPFansGlobal on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our live updates there as well.